success needs to be celebrated. But one of the questions I ask executives is, do you know how to celebrate failure? How do you celebrate failure? Now you might ask, why do you want to celebrate failure? After all, we want our people to succeed. Well, it is important to celebrate failure because failure in the pursuit of innovation is something you need to encourage. Because innovation is a deviant act. Innovation requires you to try something different. And in that process, you're going to break something. You know, there are chances that you're going to fail. So the question is, how do you reward failure? Because obviously, there can be start failure and dump failure. So the key here is to understand that what you should reward in a team's effort in innovation is not just the outcome, it's the effort. And if the effort is well reasoned, and if the team really did all they could and pursued the opportunity with the information that they had at hand and with a passion, and for reasons beyond their control, the initiative failed, you need to celebrate that, you need to reward that. You know, so because what it does then is it sends a message to the rest of the company that this is an environment that is tolerant of risk taking, where it's okay to take risks. It's okay to have freedom to, to experiment, to take chances, because otherwise what you're going to find that you create a culture that just encourages performance on the job and people will come and do the same thing over and over again and you're not going to get the out-of-the-box thinking. So I always tell executives, have a plan for celebrating failures because failures, is the only true failure is the failure to learn. And if you don't fail, you're not eventually going to find the opportunities that you succeed in. So that's sort of the concept that sounds counterintuitive of celebrating failures.